What's going on YouTube, Champa Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review and in today's video I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Deluxe Class Sergeant Cup. Now the whole reason I'm reviewing a Transformers Prime figure is because recently in the Transformers community we are celebrating the Transformers Prime 10th year anniversary. I'm shocked that that show is already 10 years old. I can't believe it. It is hands down one of my favorite Transformers TV shows. And, uh, well, it is my favorite Transformers TV show. And I decided to celebrate. I was going to review a Transformers Prime figure. And I ended up getting uh, an in-package Transformers Prime Sergeant Cup figure. So I figured, what better way to help celebrate the 10th anniversary of Transformers Prime than to review this figure. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the packaging. Now taking a look at the packaging, it tells us that the figure is an intermediate transformation at a level 2, and then it says Transformers Prime, you got a little Autobot logo right there with some lightning coming down, then you got a picture of Sergeant Cup bringing the figure in, we can actually see he is stored and packaged within vehicle mode, which is something we don't see nowadays, all of our Transformers now are packaged within robot mode, so that's very unique, has snap on cannons written right there, it's part of the robots in disguise line, Sergeant Cup coming around to the this side it just says Sergeant Cup and then it tells us the series data and everything it tells us he's a deluxe class coming around to the side here it gives us our technical data if you want to go ahead pause and read that and then you got a picture of Sergeant Cup right there and then we got an Autobot logo and then here on the bottom it actually shows us some of the different figures that are or were available at the time we got Decepticon Rumble Shadow Strike Bumblebee and Arachnid very very cool coming around to the back of the box here as we can see, we got a um, picture of Sergeant Cup. Shows us that he's a deluxe class. Again, gives us the series data. And then robot mode, vehicle mode. And that'll bring the box in. So if you want to go ahead and read his bio, you can. But there's a picture of him, robot mode, vehicle mode, and then it's got Transformers Prime. Look for your favorite robots on Transformers Prime TV Y7. Then it's got some join us online data. Pretty cool packaging, definitely a really cool figure. I'm definitely excited to have them. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and break Sergeant Cup out of his packaging and bring him onto the review table. Just going over his accessories real quick, he does come with a couple cannons, as you can see. There are no paint applications on them, they're just molded in black plastic, but they do have some nice molded detail, and they can combine just like so. So there you have that, comes with a couple cannons. And he does come with a instruction booklet, which um, I'm not going to unfold all the way, but as we can see, it's done quite differently in terms of colors than what we're used to getting nowadays. So definitely something unique. If I grab the Nemesis Prime instruction booklet from the War for Cybertron spoiler pack, as you can see, it's done in a lot darker color scheme. So something different, something unique about the figure. And here we have Sergeant Cup opened up and out of his packaging. And I gotta admit, this guy looks really cool in truck mode. Definitely a good looking deluxe class figure. Doing a quick 360 overview of the figure. As we can see, again, he turns into a nice little pickup truck. Got a lot of nice paint applications. As we can see, got the nice gold there on the front. Then you got some more gold up here. Some lime green on the hood. Very, very nice. Coming around here to the side, got some more lime green paint going along the side and then we've got the nice blue translucent windows and the paint applications here for the top of the truck have actually been done very crisp and precisely i really do think that turned out pretty much perfect in my opinion because this whole section right here is painted and i mean there's no paint bleeds or anything and it, I, it's really crisp and well done i really really find that rather awesome um but continuing with the overview we can see you got some more paint here on the back get my camera to focus got some more paint right here uh in terms of the bed of the truck itself it is a little bit hollow um as you can see but given the transformation and everything it's not too terribly bad and i mean it you're not really going to be looking up at it from a bird's eye perspective but just giving you a bird's eye perspective so you can see what that looks like um there is that Overall, very cool looking truck mode. Looks really good in my opinion. You can store his cannons on the truck. And for that, there are just a couple of peg holes right here on the feet. And then these just tab in like so. Just doing that. 
you can see you can have the cannon stored on the back if you want to and then you can actually angle these up a little bit if you want so you can have some on the go cannon action there and i mean you know it's weapon storage and it actually doesn't look too terribly bad um but it is an option if you want to do that but overall very good looking truck mode let's get some size comparisons in here and for some size comparisons, let's bring in the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Wheeljack. So you can get a sense of scale here. We can see Wheeljack is a little bit longer than uh, Cup when in truck mode. So there's that. Let's bring in the Transformers Prime Voyager Class Ultra Magnus. This is the Beast Wars, part of the Beast Wars lineup. So... As we can see, that's how they scale. And let's bring in a modern figure. Let's use the Siege Prime mold. This is the spoiler pack Nemesis Prime figure. So you can see how these two scale. But overall, Sergeant Cup here in truck mode looks really good. I think this is a really well done truck mode. I really do like it. I think he looks really, really cool. But let's go ahead and get down into the transformation. And for the transformation of Sergeant Cup, what you're going to want to do is start off with the... Th and for the transformation of Sergeant Cup, what we're going to do is start off with the roof assembly here. Untab this, and this will also untab the front hood of the truck, and then move that down. Then you can take these sections here and pull them out like so. Try to do that to where y'all can see what I'm doing. So these sections will just slide out. And then you can come to the arms here on the side, untab these, and then rotate the shoulders you can move these up and out of the way, rotate the shoulders up, and then push them up into place. Just do that on both sides, just move that up and out of the way. And then these will drop back down. So that basically just gives you clearance to move the arms into position. Then from there, take the, uh, um, take the front grill of the truck here and then push this section here, just this midsection here. You're gonna untab it from the rest of the truck and I really don't like this part of the transformation, but untab that, push it up, and then take this section here and then fold it up and that will reveal the robot head. And what you're gonna wanna do with this assembly here is drop it down into place. There are two tabs right here and here, and then two tab holes there and there. And this will just drop down into place like so and then the backpack will snap into place there is a peg coming up off his back and there is a post in there that will slide into place and then just bring that back down and then take the arms rotate them up and then fold them down and swing them around so fold the arm up and then swing it around and i gotta say i really like that part of the transformation i think that's pretty cool for the legs pretty simple just separate them pull them apart and then fold out the foot and the foot's on a ball joint so you just swivel that out. Do that on both sides. And then after all that, straighten everything out. Here we have Deluxe Class Sergeant Cup in his robot mode. And Sergeant Cup in his robot mode looks pretty good. Definitely a cool looking robot mode. Doing a quick 360 overview of the figure as we can see. Very nice looking robot mode. A pretty cool transformation. The one part I don't like about the transformation is pulling this up because you do actually have to bend the plastic a little bit and I am not a fan of that. First few times doing it really did scare me. I was like, am I missing something? I, I hope not, but robot mode looks pretty cool looking. Let's go ahead and bring him in so we can get a closer look. Taking a look at the details and whatnot, he's been very nicely sculpted and detailed. Got some detail there on the underside of the knees. Got some thigh detail in there. Got some nice paint applications here on the torso. As you can see, got a nicely, uh, nicely painted Autobot insignia right here. Really do like how that turned out. Nice gold paint. Arms have been well sculpted and detailed. Very nice. Get the pegs on the side there for his cannons. Head sculpt's been done really nicely as well. I think that looks pretty cool with the gold faceplate and the yellow eyes and everything. Definitely a cool looking head sculpt. I like how the shoulders here are situated. Coming around to the back, 
as we can see there is some kibble on the back you got this piece just hanging off but i mean overall definitely not a bad looking robot mode i think it's quite unique and quite cool looking the articulation on this figure ain't too terribly bad a head is on a ball joint so he's got a little bit of up and down movement and his head can look left and right if you can get your finger down in there arms on ball joints so you can move outwards um, if you can get free of the shorter pieces right here, can point forward and then can't really do much backwards movement due to the tire being on the arm. Uh, elbows on a ball joint, so you get a nice solid range of motion there. So good range of motion at the elbow. Uh, no waist articulation, unfortunately. You do have a ball joint at the hip, so he can kick forward, but it is blocked by kibble. Um, that's probably as far as you're going to be able to go and then you got some backward movement and again It is blocked by kibble some outward movement, but it is kind of hindered by the sculpt of the hip You get a thigh swivel full 316 you also have a knee bend and then the foot has a couple different joints You got this transformation joint right here, which is you know It's not all the way in and then the foot itself is on a ball joint So if you can get some movement out of that you can certainly pull off some poses using that joint so overall for a deluxe class figure he's not too terribly um not too terribly bad in terms of articulation definitely can pull off some cool poses with this figure for some size comparisons here is the Earthrise Deluxe Class Wheeljack, so you can get a sense of scale. So he's a little bit shorter at the. And for some size comparisons, here is Earthrise Deluxe Wheeljack, and as you can see, he's a little bit shorter than Wheeljack at the head, about the same height up to here on the shorter pieces as Wheeljack, but you can see he's a little bit shorter. Let's bring in a Transformers Prime Voyager Class figure. Let's bring Ultra Magnus back into view. Let me get him to stand for you. There we go. So you can see the size there. So Ultra Magnus definitely a bit taller than Cup. And let's bring in another modern Voyager class figure. This is the Siege Prime mold yet again, but this is the 35th anniversary color scheme for him. And as you can see, once again, the Voyager class figure is a little bit taller than Cup. So, there are the size comparisons, and I mean, overall, this isn't a bad figure. I really do think he's quite cool. He's definitely a unique figure, and I really do like the way he looks in robot mode. The paint applications have been done really nicely. Um, the only paint leaks that I've been able to find is right here, but I mean, you're not really going to be looking at that side of him too much. But, I mean, overall, a very good-looking robot mode. I really do like him. He's really, really cool. And I, I just, it, it baffles me that Transformers Prime as a show is already 10 years old. It, it, it blows my mind. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Transformers Prime look back review. I enjoyed making this video. I think Sergeant Cup here is a really cool figure. And I just, it, it's mind blowing to me that Transformers Prime is already 10 years old. Transformers Prime is hands down my favorite Transformers TV show ever. It had great storylines, great voice acting, had just overall a lot of cool stuff going for it. Transformers Prime definitely is going to be a Transformers show that will be more likely cherished in the Transformers community for a very, very long time. But I hope you all enjoyed this review. If y'all did, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of the 10th year anniversary of Transformers Prime and Sergeant Cup down in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.